Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Potsky Outdoors. I'm here with Mike Wickeser, and guess what? We're gonna to talk to you about salmon egg fishing today. Potsky Bait has sold more than 93 million jars of salmon eggs. We have so many different salmon eggs out there. All you guys have heard of the green label, Tai Premium, but today we're gonna to do a new generation of salmon eggs and talk about how to fish them. Now, there's two main techniques that are out there, correct? There's two main techniques. There's the main technique for me is running them underneath the float. You know, it's snag free and you're giving it that same drift as a current. Another way, you might get a couple more snags, there's a couple hooks, but it's very effective when the water's really cold, is rolling them on the bottom. You know, just bottom bouncing them along the current. We're going to show you how to do both those techniques, how to rig, how to set up, and how to catch a lot of trout. And remember, today we're filming on a public stream. This is a place anybody can go. Simple, mostly rainbows all day today. We're going to show you how to use chartreuse garlic, natural deluxe, gold label, yellow jackets, and pink shrimp. All new generation eggs that are catching fish every day. Come with us and we'll show you exactly what to do. All right, we're fishing a little system today. This is a really large hole for this system. We walked a bunch of trail, railroad tracks back. Now this hole is, it's pretty prime because it's got a lot of really nice seams, undercut banks. Now, your first, you know, for me, preferably, I'd start on the top of the hole and work my way down. You can see that rapids, there's two sets coming down and that real nice soft seam in the inside. I'd like to float that. And if you look on that far side, that's a real deep undercut bank. And, you know, letting that egg roll right underneath that undercut bank, right around this bend. And let it come right around the back eddy because in the back eddy, fish face the current. So when your float comes around, these fish are facing this way. Sometimes they'll hit it. Now they like the tail outs too. Now on the tail outs, there's a nice deep seam underneath that trestle right there. They're getting all the bait that comes down and sweeps around, and they're just eating them up. Very successful egg today. Natural Deluxe, small hook. Probably about a three foot leader. They're not on the bottom, which is a shocker because the water's real cold. Okay, this is a single hook. I like running single hooks. I'm not a big fan of trebles because they just don't lay right on eggs. Single hooks are the way to go, and I like running single eggs. I'm not a big fan of doubling it up or nothing like that. I like the presentation. You know, when a fish spawns, single eggs comes down the stream and that's what they're eating. That's what I have really good success with. Now, I run a little ultralight rod, five, five and a half foot, little reel, four pound test is the tops I'd go to. I like two on clear water. Now, I use a float a lot of times, and people ask me, why do I use a float? Well, salmon eggs sink. They roll the bottom. I like to keep my egg up off the bottom, and if you're like me, I don't like losing gear. You know, and I save a lot of money this way because I don't always get snagged. Now, I like using little floats, slip floats like this here. This is a normal float. I like running four, four gram floats. You can get away with any float. It really doesn't matter. Now, people ask, why do you have so much weight? Well. You always want your float straight up and down, going down the creek. You don't want it leaning to the side, you don't want it going this way. So you get enough weight on there just to keep your float pegged, up and down in the stream. Then you go down with a couple smaller ones to your egg, which brings your egg down towards the bottom so it floats real nice with the current. I usually, you know, depending on the hole, four pound, two pound, depending what creek, how clear, every hole's different. So you gotta adjust to the hole. Then I run split shops to keep your float stable and a couple down the line to get your egg down towards the bottom. You want your egg just floating on the bottom probably about a couple inches above level on the bottom, rocks, so you don't get snagged. Uh, Natural Deluxe is a good color. Smaller hook, size 12. Some people like using bigger ones. That's up to you. I like smaller hooks to hide my hook in that egg so I catch more fish. Alrighty, well I'm going to give you a rundown of what eggs to use. You know, I get questions every day asking me, what's my favorite egg? What egg do I use all the time? Well, today we're running like three, four different kind of eggs. It really doesn't matter what egg you use, you just got to find what they're hitting that day. And, you know, hook size too. 
If you're using anything under a size 10 hook, I say don't go. I like smaller hooks because eggs burst with bigger hooks, fish see those bigger hooks. I like hiding my hook a little bit. So today, pink shrimp, natural deluxe, and gold label. These are the three one that we've been using today. And every hole has been changing, you know, down below we caught them on natural deluxe, up here we're catching them on pink shrimp. You know, the next hole might be gold sparkles, you know, it's up to you. Alrighty, now I've switched rods. This is an 11-6 rod. I like the longer rod because as you see, that seam's on that far side. You got nice slate, nice cut, all the way down to the pine tree hole. This long rod, what it does is gives my float to go nice, crisp, clear, no side the way action. It's giving that good egg presentation, a natural flow down the creek. Let's get them. Let's see how we do. There it is. Alright. Is that a wild brown? I do not know what that is, but he went right behind that tree. Yep. Rainbow. Rainbow. Now when you're fishing water like this, you always want to mend your line and keep your line up off the water. What mending does is you always want your line in front of that float. You don't want no bows in it. You want to keep your line as straight as possible to that float. Gives it a nice crisp clear float right down the creek. Helps your hook sets better. Just like that, you just want to keep your line above it. You know, you don't want that bow in your line because that's you're dragging that bobber and it's not giving it that natural presentation down the creek. Alrighty, we're moving up along the creek and the key to catching a lot of fish is reading water. You know, now we just came up along this real nice hole. Look at these real shallow rapids and it drops down. You can see a hole over there that undercuts that bank. And we got a deep pocket right here above this rapid section that we just fished that hole down there. So reading water is a really big key to catching a lot of fish and even big fish. Let's get out there. Alrighty, another very effective method to fishing salmon eggs is rolling them on the bottom. You know, a lot of people don't like using floats, don't want to use floats. It's your preference, you know. I just don't like to use gear, so I use float. But sometimes this is very effective, especially when the water's cold and those fish are down deep. Now, this is four, four pound monofilament. That is a size, once I get a hold of it, 12 egg hook. Now I like to uh, give it about a 12 to 18 inch leader, a couple small split shots, depending on the water that you're fishing, and just bounce it. Keep it bouncing on the bottom. You don't want the egg sitting still. You want it rolling the bottom, you know, because that egg will, is on the bottom. It doesn't float. It's not like fire bait, you know, and it could be a very successful technique. You might lose a little more gear, but you catch a lot of fish too that way. We're just jumping along this stretch and just looking for holes, you know. A lot of people would walk by this hole, but as you see, it necks down right there, and you can see that tree that overhangs. It looks like a nice little pocket and undercut bank, you know, and it's it can hold fish, it can't, you, you don't know, you know what I mean? You just gotta try it. You know, reading water is a big key. So we just give every hole a whirl and see if anything's home.
This is a nicer section of the stream. You know, we came up to a real nice bend pocket. You got some faster moving water out on the edge out there, which is pretty shallow. And actually the pocket's on the inside. So you want to keep it on the inside of that rift and in that pocket. And now as you come down around, you see these big rocks that hold little pockets behind them, you know, and that will hold fish too. And we got a deep seam on the outlet of that, on that chute. So we're just going to dissect this hole a little bit and fish the inside, fish the outside, fish behind the rocks and uh, see how we do. We'll give the yellow jackets a try and see what happens. <laughs> 